My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here on the Unorthoblox server emanating from the spawn town. And uh, this particular building is the community center. I don't know if there's an official name for it, but that's what I'm going to call it. It's the community center where um, you can come and uh, pick up stuff, pick up gear. Low level stuff, you know, of course, uh, but there's like stone and some other 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 blocks that, uh, you know, are nice at the beginning. But also you can drop off stuff, you know, it, it, it's it's kind of like our goodwill, our salvation army, if you will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have done little to nothing, uh, mostly exploring. But uh, one thing that we were able to do so far is uh, we were able to meet up with that nerd and we picked up ourselves a mule, which is uh, fantastic. So thank you, Dat Nerd, for hooking us up there. We also hooked up with Forge um, on a, a, one of our first days, just uh, just kind of roaming around, testing things out, exploring things. And he gave us some golden carrots, and that was fantastic as well. And uh, we we worked on our first community project see there's there's a few of us that have have just joined uh last episode you saw shelly also uh just joined but there's a few of us and there's this post office right and the, but the post office was built for some of the uh the ogs and now we're we're these noobs that are coming in the need post office boxes so we expanded the whole thing and uh, made it look uh, really nice really nice it was a fun project to be a part of one of my first days here, and it was it was a good number of us. It was amazing, amazing. But like I said, we are here in the community center, and word on the street is we've got we've got some tools, and I don't know. I, I kind of feel like maybe maybe I shouldn't <laughs> maybe I shouldn't start with this, uh, but I you never say no. To a gift horse in the mouth or something, something like that. Is that how the phrase goes? Anyways, we are, we, we're, we're going to take them, but we'll see. We'll see if we need them. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's find a place to, uh, to live. All right. And if we take a look at the map, I mean, everyone's kind of spread out, I suppose. Uh, you've got your uh, main spawn. And uh, just to illustrate... How long this bridge was that we crossed. It really was a long bridge. We walked all the way from here all the way up to Spawn Town. And uh, yeah, looking around, there's a lot of open real estate. And we are going to jump right into it. I'm looking at this spot right here. Nice little bay, Mushroom Island, plains, right up against the mountains. Let's go check it out. All right, and before we begin, I, I gotta, I gotta also add everyone who is involved in this. Links are in the description. So definitely check them out. Definitely check them out because this is a fun, fun group of of creators here. Just uh, again, I haven't shown you everything that I've seen, but I've seen a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff here, but. Let's go ahead. Let's grab our donkey. We also picked up a few llamas uh, from a wandering trader. Y you know, you know how those things go. I mean, he just leaves them about, and you gotta take them. So I took them, and uh, these are my portable shockers. So let's let's go ahead. Let's get them in a boat and head off to where we're going to be staying. And finally, we have made it. Oh man. <laughs> That was a journey. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead, get out, and scope the land. All right, so we've gone around and um, tried to trim off the pieces of the of the ground that were related to non <laughs> non mushroom biome stuff, and I thought I caught it all, but all of a sudden this creeper just showed up. And now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. We shouldn't have creepers in here. We're in a mushroom biome. But, um, yeah, I've done a little bit of work. Um, just kind of trimming the edges. And uh, I guess we're going to have to do that a little bit more closely. Because uh, the method that we use to do that is not, is not good enough. <laughs> uh, so there must be some land here that isn't 
uh, that isn't a part of the mushroom biome, but is still covered in the mycelium. Um, before we were just we were just kind of cutting up uh, sand and, uh, and and grass. So, but um, yeah, we've uh, we've we've also gone around and we went to um, this like little neighboring peninsula, and we took down some trees. So we've got ourselves. A little bit of saplings, which is all, always nice. The other nice thing about this island is we've got um, we've got uh, these icebergs r- real close. So this would be a nice source of um, be a nice source of ice. Um, but um, there is a there is a portal here, and it has me a little concerned. I've asked around in the community; no one knows where it came from, who who created it. Uh, at least, uh, you know, confirmed, confirmed. But let's go ahead and go to the other side. Just, just explore. Just, just see what's, what's here. Okay. All right. So we got a bit of a pathway here. Um, not really seeing. Okay. We got a bit of a fortress over there. Okay. That, that's pretty cool. Big old mushrooms, big old mushrooms right there. Let's go ahead and, uh, take our cords down. And then walk back in and hope that this will take us uh, to where... Oh, no. Okay. All right, we are... We are somewhere far away. Oh my god, we are so far away. (laughs) We're at least a thousand blocks uh, away. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, Okay. Well, um, let me, let me, (laughs) let me find our way back and figure out what's, what, what, what else is on this island. All right. And we've made it back. I think, I think this is the right place. (laughs) So it was just, just off, off in that, in that direction. I think that is, uh, what, uh, North, Northwest. So Northwest of us is, uh, is a neighbor. Neighbor, a good five, six hundred blocks away, directly that that direction. But I mean, collectively, about uh, about a thousand blocks. <laughs> it was a long swim. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, let's continue to explore our new island. Okay, we've got a few different cave openings, which is always nice, always nice. Oh, dear. For real. Oh, so close as well to the surface. Oh, this is fantastic. What is this? Is this a a skeleton spawner? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think we've got our first project. (laughs) So be a good source for early XP. Give us a bow, uh, some some low level armor as well. This is gonna be fantastic. Here we got one of these dealies. I'm sure it's been explored. Let's check it out. Got an unbreaking one bow or uh, a, a fishing rod. Fishing rod. That's always nice. Always nice. All right, so there's some stuff here. I mean, obviously, we've got the skeleton spawner right up near the surface. Uh, we didn't really fully explore the caves, so maybe there's more. Who knows? Who knows? But I think uh, our first major project is going to be the skeleton spawner. Getting that into use because um, having bone blocks as well would be super nice. And we really didn't go through the shopping district, so we don't know really where where we stand, what what opportunities there are for us. So... Maybe there's an opportunity for bone blocks. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But um, I think what we need to do is just get to the grind, um, start uh, taking down some more trees, start uh, making some more tools, and then just, yeah, just going down and digging. And uh, luckily, you know, because we are in the mushroom biome, we won't really be bothered by mobs uh, while we're down in caves, which would be fantastic. Fantastic. So... Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, get some more wood, and then we'll we'll go ahead and start our grind. So what's our goal for this series? I mean, we've got a blank canvas, no restrictions, no schedule. 
Our only limitation is that we started pretty late in the game. So for us to compete in the market, we're gonna need to move pretty quickly and determine our space and hit it hard. We, we still need to survey the opportunities. So going to the shopping district, figuring out what shops are there, what shops are needed. But I think before we get to that, we our first objective really needs to be getting ourselves up to par with everyone else on the server. So um, diamond gear, a solid food supply, and an ability to provide for ourselves until we can get that firm place in the market. Now, I'm not one for mining for diamonds. I don't do strip mines. It's boring, you know? I'd rather focus my time on building cool stuff, working with the environment, and uh, yeah. So our, our, our main objective, as far as diamonds go, is we're gonna get all of those through the market itself, which will take some time. But that means we're probably gonna be recruiting some villagers to help us along the way. So I'm not necessarily looking to build a massive trading hall to handle everything. Uh, I mean, it's mechanically convenient, but I want to build a town. I want to build a small city, and since we're limited with the amount of times that we can uh, trade with villagers throughout the day anyways, having them spread about is perfectly acceptable. But we most likely won't do that here uh, on the Mushroom Island. The Mushroom Island, I think I want to focus on two things. That is our industrial projects which it probably will have the presence of villagers, but they won't be the main focus. And the other thing is I want to do something I've never done before, and that is a proper mega base. But hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> now, we'll continue the grind. All right, and the grind was real, uh, man. We uh, spent quite a bit of time trying to clear out a space, but also get supplies. And uh, we're not we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. So we we have quite a few stacks of oak and birch, and they are growing pretty well, pretty well. Um, I think what our palette is going to end up being is either stripped oak or stripped birch um, as as our like accent piece, I suppose, and then probably stone and stone slabs. Um, yeah, I definitely think those two. Um, we should probably try to find a mesa at some point, uh, but we've also been collecting a bunch of food and cactus and, and whatnot. Got got ourselves a little garden here. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go over and check out what we've done. All right, so as you can see, we got ourselves a pretty decent sized hole here. And uh, yeah, we've stacked cobble up 16 blocks because that gives us the, uh, the, the, the maximum that we can stand uh, for this to be activated. So if we were to shoot them up, uh, we, we would have to be over there. But then it's like an additional 24 blocks if we wanted to do the, the one hit kill method, which I'm not sure about. I'm not sure if we want to do that, if we want a full XP farm. Because once we get villagers, I mean, villagers will be our, our main XP source. So yeah, maybe this is just, uh, you know, with campfires, we can have campfires with hoppers underneath and, and maybe that'll do the trick. But my, my thought here is that um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just set up some kind of tower. So, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure where we want the entrance to be probably right around, uh, right around this level would be uh, a general entrance. So that, that should put us at least six or seven blocks from here, uh, maybe a step up and then that'll be, you know, eight or nine, eight or nine blocks up. Cause we want to be far enough away that the skeletons don't, um, um, interact with the spawner once, once they've been spawned. Uh, so yeah, but I think, I think I want to go with a tower. I think having towers like throughout this entire area would actually be pretty slick. So outside of the blocks that we'll need for the actual build, uh, the building, the structure around it, I think the only thing left uh, here is to place the water, create the tubes, and then, um, yeah, it's going to require a bubble elevator, which means we should probably head to the nether. All right, so last time we went through the nether... And we came back, we ended up somewhere we weren't supposed to be. <laughs> so we've got our boat, we've got our boat, that'll help us get back here. Uh, so let's go ahead, armor up with what we have, and uh, yeah, 
head into the nether. Okay. So I I don't do a whole lot of nether stuff. Uh, let's let's go ahead and pick up this quartz while we're here. I mean, it's just it's just chilling. Might as well. And uh, yeah, we need soul sand, and we need magma. Um, so yeah, let's just see what we can find, and hopefully, we don't get wrecked. Oh, okay, so we found uh, pretty much the hub, it looks like. So the shopping district is there. Toby's place. Nether roof. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got a gas problem here. We just need this gas to despawn. But... Right, right behind that gas, yeah. Down there, soul sand all over the place, so... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's always gas. I'm not prepared for you. Okay, I think it's despawned. I've got a stack of blocks, and we're gonna do... We're gonna, we're gonna do, uh... We're gonna do a quick science experiment here. Can we, can we go down without taking damage. Let's hope so. We took a little damage there. Boom, okay, cool. Oh God, no, don't hit the boat, okay. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh man, all right, so we gotta get, we gotta get back up there. Wonderful. All right, well we are here, let's go ahead and grab as much of this as we, as we can. All right, and since we're here, I figured we might as well check in on Shelly, see what uh, what she's been working on. But her <laughs> her Nether portal seems very very far away, but it's it's relatively close to to us if I remember correctly on the map. It's just uh, just south of us, so it looks like yeah, it looks like we're heading that way. The, oh God, okay, uh, let's let's book it. Can we survive? If we get shot by a ghast, I'm going to be really, really sad because this is the scariest, this is the scariest walk ever. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. Uh, we made it. Okay. Very good. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, do we, do we test it? Oh God. Uh, okay. Um, I, I think, I think we've got to test it. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> We will not test those things anymore. Um, let's just get home. Let's just get home. Uh, we are at some kind of squid farm. Uh, and floating cheap, floating cheap. Okay. Uh, let's just let's just get home. I don't I don't want to see Shelly's anymore. <laughs> All right, and we are back. We survived. We picked up enough soul sand and some to do what we need to do here. But I'm starting to second guess how I really want to proceed. The issue is, is that we could go out to the Mesa, get the terracotta. Uh, I, I'd like to get maybe, maybe cyan, maybe lime green. I haven't, I haven't quite decided what that, what that color piece should be yet. But regardless, we could do that. But our iron picks are just, I mean, we're just wasting through them and um, not... <laughs> We're running out of iron, and I could spend hours grinding trying to get more iron, but maybe we should move forward with um, with another project before we start actually building structures. So next time, we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this piece of it up, at least get it functional, so we can start collecting bone blocks and bones, 
uh, bows and arrows that would also be very pleasant. And um, yeah, our next project, I think, is going to have to be an iron farm because we need iron. We're, we're going to need iron like crazy, especially to get some kind of sorting system together and um, yeah, for tools, for armor, all that stuff, you know, up, up until the point where we can get some diamond stuff. But but still, I think that's what our next project's going to be. So, um, yeah, let me uh, I'm going to go ahead and unload, get the rest of the supplies that we need for to make this functional. And we will take care of that next time. My name's is Mighty Beard. It's been a pleasure and we will play Minecraft together again very soon. Later.